This video is for students who are taking the AS chemistry. Questions about the Maxwell Boltzmann come in almost every single unit to exam. There are two formats of the questions. The first format is when they ask you to draw the curve. You must start from the origin. You raise the curve up and then you fall down without touching the x-axis. The best way to understand this curve is to first look at the axes. On the y-axis you have the amount of energy that particles have and on the y-axis you have the number of particles. First of all, the reason why you must start from the origin is because there are no particles that have zero energy. Second is the peak of the curve which represents the most probable energy of the particles. The average amount of energy is shown halfway through the x-axis. The presence of the activation energy or Ea represents the minimum amount of energy necessary for the reaction to occur. Small area beyond Ea represents the number of particles that have enough energy to collide successfully and yield products. As you probably know, particles have more kinetic energy when you increase their temperature. This can be represented by the Maxwell curve because when you increase the temperature, you'll notice that the curve shifts to the right and becomes lower. Nonetheless, the area around each curve does not change because you still have the same number of particles. However, you do have a greater number of particles that have energy greater than activation energy. In conclusion, only particles with energy that is greater than Ea will react successfully. When you increase the temperature, particles gain more kinetic energy, which is necessary for successful collision.